Well, it's Monday the 29th of April and we're in a field called Bean Hill. Um, funnily enough, it was destined for beans this year. Uh, it was first, originally destined for winter beans and then it was so wet. Um, and it was so wet that we couldn't get winter beans in. So then we thought, right, spring beans. And then uh, been too wet to get spring beans in. So we're actually just putting in uh, a cover crop of phacelia and fodder radish, uh, which I'm hoping will get some good tap roots going with the fodder radish. Um, and then the phacelia will create quite a lot of organic matter and we'll sort of uh, cultivate this in or direct drill winter wheat into this. Um, you can see these marks in the stubble, that's from last autumn, where we raked the field to try and get a chit of black grass um, before, um, before planting the beans in. Um, but uh, the way the winter turned out, and it was so wet back end of last year that um, we didn't manage to get anything planted. So I'm, hopefully this, uh, I'm hoping that this cover cropping option will provide uh, a bit of a remedy to um, a remedy to the compaction uh, from last year's harvest and also provide some organic matter to help improve soil fertility which should in theory reduce input costs for harvest 14 winter wheat crop. So we'll see how it goes. We might just run the Cambridge rolls over this just to try and keep whatever moisture is just in the top bit. It's still actually got a nice bit of moisture in it there um, so uh, that should roll in quite nicely and I'd hope that these crops should be up and running within about a week.